A Utah woman whose stepchildren saw her topless is now trying to avoid having to register as a sex offender. Tilly Buchanan is charged with three counts of lewdness involving a child. Buchanan says she and her husband were taking off itchy clothing after doing insulation work, and the stepchildren saw her naked from the waist up. Hopeful. Hopeful. Especially with, given it was in the privacy of my own home, my husband was right next to me in the exact same manner that I was, and he's not being prosecuted. Buchanan's lawyer and the ACLU are asking for the case against Buchanan to be dismissed and for a portion of Utah's lewdness statute to be struck down. If they lose, Buchanan would have to register as a sex offender. All right, let's bring back tonight's A-plus panel, Lisa Durden, social commentator, and Bob Bianchi, former prosecutor and now defense attorney. Lisa, I'll start with you on this. I believe that there is something proper in saying there's a difference between male breasts and a topless guy. That said, a sex offender for 10 years? Seems yeah. a little excessive. Yeah, two things. No, I do not think this woman should be arrested and charged as a sex offender. She wasn't molesting the children or raping the children. She wasn't doing anything with the children, sexual or otherwise. But and however, as we say in the hood, but and however, uh, that's nasty. My kids, who ain't your kids, my southern accent, should not be seeing your tatas. Bob, there seems to be a little more to this story. Let's take it from a, from a defense side of the coin. How do you defend this? If this was something that was incidental, that she did not intend to happen, it's not a good legal case because for every crime, it typically speaking, has to either be intentional or knowingly done. Now, if she's got a history of doing this. I understand how the mother would be upset, mm -hmm. but to have her register as a sex offender, I think we're abusing those registration laws too much and watering them down for those who are really need to be classified as sex offenders. So to that point though, Lisa, what do you do? You know, if you're, because the law is what the law is. And I, did she hurt her case by making it political? <laughs> saying, you know, she had a comment that was written about saying, oh, I'm a feminist and I should be able to walk around like this. Am I, like, did she hurt her case by, by making no, it No, I actually agree with her defense because I think in the state of New York, I don't know if it's all states, but I know in New York, women can legally walk around with our breasts out. I wouldn't do it. But we can. They changed it, what, in the 80s or 90s? Well, I believe it's New York City. New York City and, or whatever, you know, and you yeah. you can walk around topless. Women typically don't, but we can. So that's a great defense, and they maybe can use that New York City as a part of her case because she should be able to do it like the husband. Bob, on the other side, did she hurt her case by making it like, hey, I'm a feminist, I got a right to... She did hurt her case really? because, unfortunately, that's not the law in that particular jurisdiction. And ah. secondarily, uh, it, it takes away that part that I did this by accident. It's basically saying I didn't do it by accident. They didn't just see this coincidentally. I have a right to let them see that. I think it's... So she's saying bad. it's purposeful that she did right, that. Yeah. I get the point, the confusion, the murkiness. Thanks, guys. Yeah.